Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Pac-12 expansion has only enhanced this conference's credibility on a national scale. New coaches bringing great new innovative ideas, particularly on offense, gives this league an opportunity for a showcase like we're about to enjoy. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. California and Stanford Stadium, the site for this incredible football game. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Utah has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Tyler takes it from the six. Broke away from one. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. They'll bring him down at the 13. Great run by the back there. He could have gone all the way. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 13. They come out in a goal line set. Touchdown, Stanford! Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. And he adds the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Bulldogs were ranked 18. They hope this victory will push them even higher. This one was tight. Fresno State gets the win by four. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Stanford ready to kick this one off. From the eight-yard line. He's out to the 30, and he's tackled at the 34. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Brought down at about the 45. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at the 41. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Gets it out quickly. 
He's pushed out of bounds at the 26-yard line. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. They'll spread the field with five wide. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. Throws middle of the tight end. He's tackled at the 18-yard line. With the tackle at the 18-yard line. That'll bring up 32. The 10. Tackle around the 9-yard line. I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do today. It's, you know, they're running the football and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties and puts a lot of pressure on them to have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action pass, boy, I feel really good about it's getting my quarterback in rhythm, slowing down the defense, and giving us a chance to make a big play. The halfback picks up a yard. This safety is as vicious a player as you're going to find. He will make the tackle every single time. point to tie this game up and he hits the PAT an eight play 66 yard drive and a touchdown as a result you know Brad a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground this time they went the entire length of the field the ball never touched the ground great execution by the quarterback and the receiver we got a tie game at seven seven fielded at the nine he makes it out to maybe the 30 yard line And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Let's go! And he's taken down at the 43 yard line. From their own 43 yard line, it's first down. down marker and he carries the ball for a nice game yard line. It's second down. Complete brought down. Nothing doing. First and ten, ball on the 22. Hands it off. He's taken down at the eight. It's the ninth play of the drive. Run there. 
Benson gets about four yards on the play. From the four yard line, second down. Slings it. Touchdown, Cardinal. Tacks on the extra point. A 10 play, 69 yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. It's just an overall well executed touchdown. The score now 14 7. Easily is lined up to kick this one off. Fielded at the four. And down he goes at the 29 yard line. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. So much of the passing game is about timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Way to miss the tackle, the 41 yard line. Well, if you like offense, you had to have loved that first quarter of play. Stanford's lead is a touchdown. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Quick throw, incomplete, Watto's receiver. This quarterback needs to be careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things because that's when mistakes happen. From their own 41-yard line, second down. Fights forward to about the 43. That would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold on to the ball after taking a shot like that. Stewart is the deep man awaiting the return. Fielded at the 19. Tackle made at the 27. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Stanford is up by a touchdown. Hands it to the back. It's on the ground. The defense falls on it. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. One quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Scrambling around. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line. That makes it second and six. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Gets out to around the 12. Gets it. He's in space. They'll bring him down right around the two-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Touchdown, Utes. That is great, tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. 
will be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Utah is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 28-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. They're packed in tight on the line. There's a very impressive open field tackle. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 41. Throws and it's incomplete. for a good game. That's a game of four. Too easy, too easy. That makes it third and seven. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. And he's level at the 46. current drive. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Picks him up around seven yards with that catch. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. such a huge letdown for this defense. That kind of conversion is just inexcusable. Here's the 12th play of the drive. So 
Bowie punches it into the end zone for the second time today. That was just an excellent individual effort to find the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, time to go to the Little Apple in Manhattan. And for Kansas State, they're looking to win two in a row. All locked up, 17 apiece. Reese, a touchdown difference in this one, 21-14. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Holmes from the four. Makes it to the 22-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 22. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll drop in for a loss. Stanford's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Kirk, we saw this guy head to the locker room a little bit earlier. Good to see him back on the sideline, and it looks like he could be returning to the game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Guillory comes away with around five yards on the misdirection run. Stanford's out of timeout. They've got ten guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. Tries to get around the corner. Stewart fields it at the 46. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you, the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 41. Stanford is up seven. Throws it in a hurry. And they'll get him in the backfield. He wants it all. Missed him. Well, we've got a barn burner here. And at the end of the first half, our score... Stanford leads it 21-14. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The pass rush of both teams has been totally negated in the first half. Neither team has been able to come up with a sack so what's the D-line coach right now preaching to you guys up front, you big fellows who love to go there and make life miserable for a quarterback? Well, you got to watch the football and get off it as soon as you can and try to get that first step quickness because I know those guys are big and strong, but they're also a little bit chunky. And if you're on the defensive line and you're, you're a little bit slimmer and you get off the football a little bit faster, but try to get off that ball quick. And it's not just sacks, Reese. How about you affect the quarterback? How about you, you bull rush your guy and you put him in his lap and you make him throw over top or, you know, change the throwing angle so he doesn't have a clean pocket where he can step up in there and make big throws the whole game. You got to do something, something different than you did the first half to affect the quarterback. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astroturf turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. From the five-yard line, brought down at the 26-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. 
throws this one out to the right. This one will fall incomplete. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 26. Again, and he's taken down at the 38. First down. Fires that quickly to the tailback. Tackle made around the 47 yard line. Punter took the tackle at the 47 yard line. That brings up second and one. It's a great tackle at the 50. That makes it first and 10. Come to my work. We won't come to my work. Mike 17, Mike 17. There's a strike complete. Knocked out of bounds at the 44 yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. play of this drive. And he tackles him hard at the 46-yard line. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. And he's taken down at the 25. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Stanford is up a score. Taken down around the 26 yard line. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From their own 26 yard line. Second down. Let's go. Tackle around the 28 yard line. Back to return it. He's tackled at the 47. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Fights forward to about the 49. That makes it second and eight. Slings it. And he's tackled at the 44. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up third and inches.
bring him down at the 34. Dunbar brings him down at the 34 yard line. First down. Check right, check right, check right. And he hits him hard at the 19 yard line. First down. to about the 17 yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a five yards. That'll bring up third and two. It's third down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And they're not going to get a great stop. The kick is up, and it is good. A quick update now. Here's Reed. Let's take a look at some action in the Big 12. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for Baylor, they're in danger of losing two straight. Denman playing a game that defines excellent quarterback play, having thrown for more than 200 yards already. The Wildcats are on top, 38-17. 21-17, our game here. Utah gets set to kick this one away. Stewart passes it at the five. Tackle made at the 22. The Utes have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Stanford is up four. They'll work the left side. He's gobbled up in the backfield. End of the third, and we've got a tight one. 21-17, Cardinal. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. From their own 23-yard line, third down. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Good possession there for the defense. That makes it fourth and 12. Johnston awaits the snap. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. They'll go with a run once again. Gets out to around the 25. That's good for the That makes it first and 10. And a quick throw. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. Brought down right around the 
16 yard line. to maybe the 13-yard line. Has all day to throw. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Second and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. And they make the stop right around the four-yard line. Takes it and he's tackled short. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And down he goes, right around the two yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, and they take the lead. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 40-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Fielded at the four. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Stanford's ranking, that doesn't mean anything right now. Now, they've not played up to their expectations at all, but they have the football here late in the game. They're very fortunate to still have a chance to maybe win it because they've not looked like themselves. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Just over two minutes in the game. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Call it a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. He fires. They really need to pick up this third and long here in the fourth quarter. He's going to air it long. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Johnson's intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. From the 46 yard line, it's first down. doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Zips it to the tight end, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. Stanford's going to use their first time out of the half here. 
Third down now. They need to get it down to the 36. Under a minute left. Fires it out. And he's taken down around the 34-yard line. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's brought down in the open field. The spike will stop the clock. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Two-yard line. Throws in a hurry. The defender had it and then dropped it. And this is the 12th play of the drive. conversion. This one's going deep to the end zone. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. Stanford, the kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 28. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. The worst thing that should happen for the offense now is that the game will go into overtime. If they can make a couple of plays, then maybe they'll pull it out in regulation. You've got one team fighting for overtime, another one who wants this thing over with now. These seconds should be pretty thrilling. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. That makes it second and ten. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Utah's going to take their first time out of the half. They've got one more shot. Let's see if their prayers will be answered with a good old Hail Mary. He lets it fly. And a great catch. We're going to overtime. So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. Well, we played an hour, and it's still not enough. We're set to kick off here in overtime. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Guillory only picks up about a yard there on the draw play. Really just nowhere to go on that play. It's a good job of these guys slowing down that running game. From the 24-yard line, it's second down. Run and he's brought down. That's a game of four. That'll make it 35. Ouch. Pretty 
big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen, maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. So the kicker will come out and try to build a three-point cushion here in overtime. It has the distance, and he nails the long field goal. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Bears had the final spot in the poll at number 25. Unfortunately, that didn't last long. And for Kansas State, they've won two straight. The Wildcats grab it by 18. Reese, we're separated by a field goal here, 27-24. From the 25-yard line, first down. He's taken down at about the 29-yard line. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. up and goes down. It's fourth down, but forget about tying this game up. They're going for the win. Complete. He's got room inside the 10. He takes it in for the win. should do it. Our final tally in this one. Stanford, 30. Utah, 27. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.